um, welcome to the first remastered video. Um, since I've got this new setup and better lighting and better camera and all that stuff, now we can start to take a better look at the merchandise. Um, so I wanted to start off with the Super Mario 64 set. Why? Because it's easy. <laughs> Just pulled it right off of that shelf or that little peg back there. So let's take a look at this one. Oh, it's been a while since I've looked at these, to be honest. Okay, so this is the Super Mario 64 Mario Wing Cap Plush. This one has an infamous suction cup. So why is it infamous? Um, before plushes were insanely uh, counterfeit, counterfeited, faked. Um, anything with a suction cup, I tell people, uh, it's pretty suspect. Like, don't don't think about it. Since then, I've found a few plushes that have official um, suction cups, and this is one of them. Um, but for the most part, um, suction cups can be, yeah, I wouldn't, um, well, talk to me if you got a problem, because <laughs> I can show you what, what is a good suction cup plush and what isn't, but there's a lot of them out there that, that have suction cups, um, that are fake. Anyway, nice tangent. This looks a lot like, and when I first saw it, I thought it was the BDNA, um, Super Mario 64. Plush. Let me just grab that real quick because I'm right here. So this is the BDNA one. And you can see they're very similar. The eyes are obviously different. So I had to check that. Um, and the logo is different on it. And obviously the tag placement and stuff like that. The mustache is a little more accurate. The eyes are a little more accurate. Of course, and they're just going to be. Ben Presto did a good job when they were around of doing Mario plushes. So what else about this guy? Well, he's pretty fragile. Um, I've seen quite a few where the overalls have popped. There's only a very small thread holding the um, overalls on. And he's kind of hard to place. I have him on a peg, but if he's just sitting there, like I think I had him previously, he's kind of hard to place, but because he doesn't sit well and all of his weight is up front, so he just kind of sits like this. Um, here's the tag. My tag's not perfect. Um, there's a little crease in it. You can see the the whole set is there, and it has that art from the game of Bowser lighting Mario's butt on fire. There is this little tiny sticker on there that says licensed by Nintendo. Um, you'd think that'd be easy to fake. It, it would be um, because it's not very descript. But it's also, I don't know, it's, it's one of those things. I don't see it faked a lot. I don't see this plush faked a lot either. It was kind of before that era. This was 1996. So right when the game came out, they had this. Um, which is rare. Typically the merchandise would follow about a year after the game release, generally, up until this point, and somewhat beyond. Um, and then he's got his tush tag with the iconic Ben Presto eye mask. And that says 1996 Nintendo on it as well. There's a logo on that. So there you go. So that's Mario. Um, who's next? Gotta be the Goomba. I love this Goomba. I love how it looks. A lot of the Goombas before this looked kind of wonky. Um, there was the Victor Kai and the Ban Presto ones before this. And this one's different more because it follows the polygonal look of the game. It has this cardboard in the mushroom part in the head. Um, and it just makes it look like it should, I guess. Like it has that that correct shape. And he's got these little tiny feet. And the eyes. I mean, the Goomba looks different in Super Mario 64. His tag's over here. 
and and just real quick note the blue string on this um we'll get to why that's important later but just keep that in mind and i love the eyes it's got a really long mouth it's one of my favorite goomba plushes it still is i don't think i mean even the i like the ones from super mario 64 ds from sanai sanai um with the hats the mario luigi and, and wario hats those are really good marios or excuse me really good goombas there's another one that's a giant pair of goomba that's really great but i like the look of this one speaking of favorites this koopa trooper might be my favorite too um the eyes and everything now this oh okay so sometimes i see and there's another yoshi um that has this problem too where there's a stitch of yarn or thread yarn thread right down here that keeps the eyes um, onto the figure but also you know is part of the eyes so it separates the eyes um, sometimes that thread you'll see popped um, I thought it was just a line but there's definitely a thread there and it's very taut so if it breaks there's a problem um, so I have seen that in the Yoshi I really haven't seen that with this guy though um, but the Yoshi is older than this one so this guy has the more polygonal look of a Koopa Troopa from Super Mario 64. He's got the balls for hands in the... He's got um, cardboard in his feet. So you kind of see him running around. Some people say because of the way he is um, positioned that he's Koopa the Quick. Um, because, well, because of his pose, really. Because it kind of sits like this. Um, I mean, that'd be sweet if it was. Um, because Koopa the Quick has those huge eyes and he's bigger than Mario. Um, I think that's what that guy's name is. I just replayed the stupid thing on the Switch, so um, yeah, when you race the guy in Super Mario 64, it's Koopa Trooper. Um, in the back, there's some stitching um, along his shell pattern here, especially here and here to kind of keep the shell on. Or just like reinforce that pattern but this is all um like iron on material kind of like his eyes um i don't like that he doesn't have his stripes on his belly i thought that was a uh kind of an oversight of this plush well what can you do this is the tush tag around him it's right underneath his left foot and then there's the tag all my tags have this bend to them which is kind of annoying but okay let's go straight to bowser and i'm going to go ahead and pull my bdna bowser as well because these are quite similar to a point bowser's hair is more red um definitely less beanbag material in this one this is definitely a beanbag um, but you can tell like the shell from the back, they look pretty darn similar. And the eyebrows are similar, but the eyes are definitely different. Um, mainly because these are like iron on. Um, and the this guy's lacking his um, armbands. So Bowser has armbands here. He only has one, but I don't blame him because it's kind of a small plush. So toss that guy down there. What else to talk about about Bowser? I mean, the, the eyes are the, the craziest part. It's it's a bummer because he sits like this and you can't see his face. Um, you can really only see his his mouth. Um, but, yeah, you kind of have to lay him like this. So you can see his crazy eyes. He definitely has crazy eyes. His tush tag is down here on his tail. And the hang tag. Um, there has been some speculation about the mouth here i remember a thread on the facebook group about how many teeth he should have because some have two teeth and some have one tooth and we suspect it might be like a later release of the figure or i mean the plush um could be there could be a lot of manufacturing issues i don't think that it's a fake i don't think these have been faked to my knowledge um and that'd be a really weird thing to miss 
especially because it's like right there. But you know, counterfeiters, who knows? Um, but yeah, this is a great Bowser plush. I, I actually found all of these after I had the BDNA set. So the Bowser and the Mario are very similar to that set. So I skipped over a few and then realized that I was missing out on it. So because I think one had the tag and I was like, oh, that's different. It's a different plush. But that was way back when I started collecting. Uh, the next figure should probably be this figure. And between him and Metal Mario, um, he tends to go for a little bit more. Simply because there are no other iterations of this character at all. There are no King bob -omb, anything else but this plush. I take that back. There's this metal figure. <laughs> I lied, but I caught myself. Um, that's it. There's two pieces of merchandise, and both of them are extremely rare. Uh, I see this guy pop up. I've seen him uh, enter a few collections recently, actually, on, on Instagram and other places. Um, so there, there are opportunities to get him, but I think he's the rarest of this set. Um... Talking about pricing of the set, this guy can go between like, well, he can hit 500 himself pretty easy. Um, all of them are over $100. Most are over $200. Um, the whole set together might be a grand or more. So, uh, and that's just going to go up as the plushes, because these deteriorate. Um, and there's less and less good quality ones out there. So this guy's crown actually has a bit of, um, well, maybe not. Maybe it's just really thick felt um, that's sewn onto the body. And then the the uh, mustache is sewn in really well, too. You'd think it'd just be something that's on it, but you can't, like, look behind it. It's sewn onto the body really well, as well as the eyes. And then it's just like the Koopa Troopa, the, the ball hands and the cardboard feet. Um, tush tag is way back here and these you can see on mine uh, the tags fade um, so that's a bummer some of my tags look really good and some of these don't look really good there's a tag on them so he kind of hangs like that when you hang them which is kind of a bummer I should have had it like up here over the crown or in the crown but you know that's just where they ended up putting the, the hang tag. Okay, last one. And I don't like handling this one that much. Um, it's the Metal Mario. And he is so fragile. Uh, he is the best tag that I have. It is pretty pristine on there. Um, and here's the important part. Just this one uses a silver hang thread. Um, versus the blue ones of the entire other set. And who knows? Maybe that's just consistency among the entire thing. Um, I've seen a lot of these. And there's there's debate about um, how many of these like were released, how many sets were released. Because it seems like this one right here you'll see has all silver everything. Um, sometimes when they photograph, because it's so shiny... It'll look, it'll look like the uh, pupils are black. And then there's like some legit black because we've seen, I've seen on my Facebook group and in the forums and stuff that um, someone has one of these that is black. And it doesn't, he says it doesn't look like someone colored it black because um, that was my initial thought, my initial guess when I saw it um, is, is either it's a trick of the, the lighting on the camera or it's, um, there's something going on, like someone colored it with a Sharpie or something. But um, he says it does not look like that. But who knows? Um, there might be a second version of the plush out there with the black eyes. Um, I don't know. But the whole plush um, is just, it's ready to fall apart. Um, all of it is this shiny material, which does tend to crack and can become brittle over time. The eyebrows you can see on mine are starting to fade and, and separate a little bit. 
the eyes are still intact. That seems to be the one that really has a problem is the eyes. Right on the left side right there on his mustache, you'll notice some of the silver is coming off, um, which is a bummer. Who knows if that's been there all along or if I'm just noticing that, but um, this is an extremely uh, difficult plush to find in good condition simply because it's so fragile. I mean, if a fingernail could nick it and some of the silver could come off a little bit um, on his nose right there. There's that too. Um, so yeah, it's just over time, this thing's going to deteriorate because that's just the way that they built it. Kind of like the eyes of the Super Mario Kart uh, plush collection or some of the um, the BDNA ones are starting to do that where they crack a little bit. But it's... Um, it's harder to notice on these, I guess, but little, little dings. Like from here, you can't see what I just told you about, like the little neck here. But up close, it definitely can tell. His tush tags back here. I see a lot of the um, overalls coming off of this guy as well because they are just like thin pieces of plastic. Mine's actually loose. Uh, this one's still intact. But uh, yeah, definitely... Definitely need to put him maybe in a plastic bag or something to keep him more preserved. Um, this M really worries me too because it looks like it's about ready to come off. It's just the way the, the thing was glued together. Um, sometimes you'll see the nose missing, um, eyes and eyebrows and, and uh, mustache, all that. Now mine back here has this little metal bit of hair and I'm trying to move it so you can see on the other side that's what the the fabric looks like and it's just uh it's rolled up on this side for some reason so you can fix that kind of I'm trying to see if there's any other nicks on any of this to show just how fragile it is but it looks like everything's okay yeah I don't want to handle it too much Ugh, rare plushes. Things to preserve. It's pretty tough. All right, well, thank you for this. Uh, thank you for watching this remastered version. Um, hopefully I'll be able to pump some of those out because uh, you guys made a lot of requests. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to fulfill those soon. But it's it's tough. It's tough to get down here. And then um, they're big requests too. Like, hey, do all the Super Mario Kart stuff or do all the... Um, Mario Kart plushes again. You got to pull everything off and you got to put it all back when you're done. And um, but it's good because then um, I can kind of dust and just moving stuff around um, helps. Because there's I've closed all the vents in here. Um, a lot of people ask me how do you dust stuff. I don't get a lot of dust in here. Uh, that was the same way in my other collection room. Is I shut everything off and I don't. There's not a lot of circulation in here because no one comes down here very often. So. Um, which is a shame, but, uh, yeah, with less movement and less people around here, there's just not a lot of dust to collect. There are some things that collect dust, but, um, for the most part, I don't have to worry about it all that much. And once I take it down to show you guys, then I do a little dusting or, um, just like see where, how things are. So I can maintain that as I kind of move around and look at stuff, but. Um, I'm not too worried about it. Dust doesn't damage a whole lot of things, but if you get a large amount of accumulated dust, it can ruin the paint on things. It can cause some problems, especially when you try to clean it, um, trying to get it off if it sticks or something. Um, it's it's bad. So I try to keep it clean. But just a little note on the end of this video. <laughs> Another tangent as I was saying goodbye. But um, yeah, thanks for thanks for watching, and I hope to do more of these soon.